current political climate. While dozens of police officers were on standby in downtown earlier for the demonstration. Reporter Joe Kadat was at the scene earlier and joins us now. Joe. The group carried signs with the political slogans and many of them wore face coverings. About 50 protesters, many wearing ski masks, marched downtown Saturday. We're out here because after the election, people become complacent. I mean, the people are out here uh, eating, which is fine, but this is a way we can bring the message out and they understand that there are still people who care about what's going on in this country and we're going to keep uh, the fight going. Protesters say they want change with the current political climate. It's not over until it's over. We're going to keep uh, the, the message of anti-tropism. The masks, they say, are to show solidarity with their group and to protect their identities. This President Trump supporter says he respects the right to protest, but says protests nationwide since the election don't help anyone. You start waving communist flags and you stop burning President Trump stuff, or you start violence and riots, that's not work. That's not working. That's not what brings us together. And that, that's one of the reasons I left my support for the Democrats, because I felt like they were not uniting. There were extra police units on hand, including a police chopper that was flying overhead. There were no arrests made tonight. Reporting live, Joe Kadant, Game TV Action 3 News. It was another day of protests outside of Senator Deb Fisher's office.